normal curve and one, two, and three standard deviations. Here, this curve represents the normal distribution of some type of data, and it is characterized into different symbols. Bar X represents the mean value and is the highest point on the curve. Sigma is a Greek letter that means standard deviation. The curve is separated into percentiles. One standard deviation away from the mean contains 34% of the data. Two standard deviations away from the mean contains 13.5% of the data. And three standard deviations away from the mean contains 2.35% of the data. One standard deviation to each side of the mean value holds 68% of the data. Two standard deviations to each side of the mean value holds 95% of the data. Three standard deviations to each side of the mean value holds 99.7% of the data. Example one, if I hit 48 home runs in a season, what percentile would I be at? The X mean, the, <laughs> the mean value is 34 and the standard deviation is seven. So first we draw our normal curve, and we know that 34 is the mean, so you draw that in the middle. The standard deviation is 7, so you add or subtract 7 to get the standard deviation numbers. We are looking to see if you hit 48 home runs, what percentile would you be at? We know that 48 is right here, and we know that this area right here is in the 13.5 percentile. So your home runs would be in the 13.5 percentile. Example 2. I eat 5,000 calories. What percent is below that? The mean value is 4,500 and the standard deviation is 500. We know the whole curve contains 99.7% of the data to find, to find the percentile below 5,000. You subtract the two percentiles above it. So you do 99.7, subtract 2.35, subtract 13.5, which equals 84% of the data. The end.